Matter is in everyone and in everything. They make up my vocal cords so that I can sing. They're made up of atoms, our little tiny friends. They're even in our food, on which we do depend. They are held together by chemical bonds that can be covalent or ionic, which means I share or take. I'm sure you know that I am speaking of electrons. And to round it off, we have the elements. The most common ones are C, H, and OPS. They are used in our bodies in many different ways. Then there is the trace kind, just a little is okay. 65% of the human body, 75% of the human brain, 75% of the living tree, man, talking about this water makes me really gotta pee. Atoms that bond with hydrogen will like electrons, and that is what happens in all hydrogen bond. You got your cohesion, cause water bonds to itself. You got your adhesion, cause water bonds to something else. Together, they move water up a tree so that it travels all up to the different colored leaves. Now ice can flow, it floats over the water and protects it like a coat. I heard it from my father. Stable H bonds create a 3D crystal that is less dense than water, so how can you miss them? Water has a specific heat, it takes lots of energy to change it by one degree. Polar is one way to describe H2O. It has opposite charged ends. Is it hydrophilic? No! <laughs> Whoa, teach. You forgot something. We still need to do the second part. And it goes like this. Many things are on the pH scale, from milk to blood to even a rat tail. They're all sorted into two main groups called acids and bases. It's just as easy as knotting up laces. Life requires buffers to balance the ions, like putting on covers to keep you warm and help you stay healthy from all the winter storms. Polymer of proteins is a polypeptide. Monomer of them is amino acids, of which I know there's 20. They build the structure in muscles, support the whole immune system. Transfer the nutrients throughout the blood. They can't be cooked or they won't work because we know the structure fits what they do. Carbohydrates and lipids, yeah, they do the same thing. They both are used for battery energy. Carbs are commonly referred to as simple sugars. They are little things like chitin, starch, cellulose, and glycogen. All these things come from little itty bitty things like glucose and fructose. Now lipids are cool. They're hip. They can store twice as much energy as carbs, kid, but don't get them wet, because they don't like water. This property is known as hydrophobia. Lipids are things like saturated and unsaturated fats. The first makes you skinny, the other makes you fat. Another type of lipid, he has a bad name. His name is Story, but he's not what you think. He helps manage cholesterol, hormones, and cell membranes. Enzymes are little troopers. They never get tired. They never stop doing what they're doing. When they find the right substrate that fits perfectly in their active site, they clamp on it and break apart into products. But in all seriousness, I think that this stuff, that this material that we are learning here, should be known to all humans. You guys look amazing, by the way.